Okay, so welcome back to my set series. Today, we will be learning about ratio and proportion. So, ano nga ba ang ratio? Okay, so ratio is defined to be uh, just the comparison between two quantities. So, it is normally given or written as the quotient, okay? And then, madalas, given two numbers, let's say x and y, no? Yung ratio ay sinusulat as x colon y or x over y, okay? So, for example, let's say meron tayong isang classroom, no? Let's say 20 don boys, no? And then, let's say, 16 doon girls. So, tinatanong sa atin, ano yung ratio ng boys to girls? So, that is boys to girls, no? Boys to girls. So, 20 is to 16. Or, you can actually simplify this just like a fraction, no? So, yung 20 over 16, pag sinimplify mo to as a fraction, magiging 5 over 4. So, equal yung 20 is to 16 to 5 is to 4. Okay? So, pag sinabi naman kung gusto natin yung ratio ng girls to boys, pabalik ta rin mo lang to. So, that is 4 is to 5. Okay? Ganun lang. So, ano naman yung proportion, no? So, yung proportion naman, is uh, basically an equality, okay? Equality between two ratios. Okay? So, pag sinabi na A is to B, daw ay equal sa X is to Y, meaning A over B ay equal sa X over Y. Okay? So, yung A and Y, tawag sa kanila ay extremes. Okay? So, ito ay extremes. And then, yung B at saka yung X, ang tawag sa kanila ay means. Okay? So, we have a rule here, no? So, yung rule natin dito is the product of the means ay equal sa product of the extremes. Okay? So, for example, I have a problem. Let's say n is to 3 is equal to 21 is to 7. So, how do we solve this? So, sabi yung product daw ng means equal sa product na extremes. So, you have n. So, ito yung extremes. Ito yung means. So, n times 7 equals sa 3 times 21. Okay. So, to solve this, multiply my 3 by 21. So, that is equal to 63. So, you have n times 7. So, anong number multiply mo sa 7 para maging 63? So, n will be equal to 9. Okay? So, we have uh, types of proportions. no? So, types. So, the first one is direct proportion. So, sa direct proportion, so let's say two variables are direct. So, ang tawag sa kanila ay directly proportional if x increases, dapat y also increases. Or, if x decreases, dapat y also decreases. Okay? So, meaning the ratio ng x over y is always the same. Okay? So, for example, uh, let's say yung jario is 36 pesos, no? For two copies. So, magkano kung magkano yung 15 copies? Okay? So, as you know, yung presyo naman ng Jario ay hindi nagbabago kung kahit gano'ng karami siya. 
Okay? So, you have a direct proportion or they are directly proportional. So, you can say na 36 pesos over 2 copies is equal to uh, some pesos, so, so pesos, hindi mo alam kung magkano, over 15 copies. Or you can also write them as 36 pesos is to 2 copies is equal to x, okay? So just a variable is to 15, okay? So how do we solve this? So again, yung product ng extremes ay equal sa product ng means, okay? So meaning, 36 times 15 is should be equal to x times 2, okay? So, we can solve for x here. So, x is equal to 36 times 15 all over 2, which will be equal to 270 pesos, okay? So, yun ang direct proportion. Next kind of uh, proportions is the indirect, no? Indirect. Or tinatawag din natin sila na inverse. Inverse proportion. So, ito naman, kabalik ta rin ng direct, no? So, if x increases, y decreases. Or, if x decreases, y increases. Okay? Pero, yung idea pa rin, ay parehas lang. Okay? So, for example, let's say we have 12 workers. They can build a house for 30 days. And let's say na one house can be built in 18 days. So, how many workers should there be para ma-build in 18 days? Okay? So, kung isipin mo, pag mas marami kayong workers, mas mabilis matatapos yung trabaho. Pag mas konti yung workers, mas mabagal matatapos yung trabaho. Okay? So, basically, you have, uh, basically, the number of workers times the number of days should be, should be the same for initial and final values. No? So, initial and final so, meaning, yung 12, 12 workers times 30 days will be equal to, uh, will be equal to workers times 18 days, no? So, solving this, workers is equal to 12 times 30 over 18, that is 20 workers, okay? Last kind of proportion is the partitive proportion. So basically, ito ay dividing a whole into at least two parts. Okay? So ito ay not necessarily equal. No? Not necessarily equal. So for example, Kayong magkakaibigan, may napanalunan kayo na, let's say, 1 million pesos. Okay, 1 million pesos. And then, sabi ninyo, uh, hatiin natin siya into 2 is to 3 is to 5. Okay? So, how do we do this, no? So, ang ginagawa dito, ina-add natin tong tatlong number na to. So, you have 2 plus 3 plus 5. So, this is equal to 10. Technically, we call these portions. Okay? So, you have 10 portions. And then, we divide yung whole value natin into portions. Okay? So, you have 1 million divided by 10 portions. So, you have 100,000 per portion. Tama? And then, gusto mo hati into 2 portions, 3 portions, and 5 portions. So you just multiply them to each and every portion. So that is 2 times 100,000, 3 times 100,000, and 5 times 100,000. So equal to sa 200,000, 300,000, and 500,000. So yan yung 
partitive proportion. Okay? So, today you have learned ratio and proportions. So, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below. And I hope to see you again next time.